The movie begins by introducing the main character, Mike Wazowski. He hopped off a bus and joined his pals on a school trip. Mike tried to find someone to team up with, but none of his friends wanted to buddy up with him. The school group entered a spooky room called the Scare Room. A staff member on the trip wanted to hear the kids' screams, and when Mike let out a big scream, his friends turned to look at him. But surprised, they weren't actually looking at Mike. They were watching some monsters about to enter the room. That's when one of the monsters revealed he had graduated from Monster University, and from that moment on, Mike dreamed of attending that university. Little Mike couldn't see the scaring action because he was too short, and his friends even told him he wasn't cut out for scaring. However, Mike was determined to see it for himself and, unexpectedly, ended up in a magical doorway. On the other side, he witnessed the whole process of scaring a little kid, and he even got praised by one of the experienced scarers. A few years later, Mike is a teenager now, and he's all excited to start his journey at Monster University, which is like the coolest place for monsters. He hopped off the bus and got to the university campus. It was his first day, and he joined in on all the orientation stuff to get to know the place. Then he strolled over to check out different student groups. Mike was really into this one called the Greek Council, because he had this burning desire to be part of a scare competition. Long story short, he made it to the student dorms. There he met a new buddy named Randy Boggs, who had this nifty talent of disappearing. Mike then told Randy about how he always dreamed of becoming the ultimate scarer, and how he'd waited for this moment his whole life. The next morning was time for Mike's first class at the scare school. But Dean Hardscrabble, who had this legendary reputation for the loudest scream, walked in. Mike leaned over to Randy and whispered about Hardscrabble's scream record. Hardscrabble gave the students a little pep talk and also mentioned this thing called the final exam. Just then, a monster named Sullivan showed up from outside, stealing the whole class's attention. After their classes, they got together in their room and started dreaming about graduating from college. Mike, in his own world, was reading a book when something strange happened. The window opened all by itself. And Sullivan, who was on the run from those Fear Tech kids. The reason he was hiding was because he swiped Fear Tech's pig, Archie. Trouble followed, though, when Archie took off with Mike's hat. So Sullivan and Mike ended up chasing that pig right into a house that belonged to a club called Aurora or Roar Omega Roar. Thanks to Mike's smarts, he managed to catch that pig. All the students at Monster University were thrilled. Then the heads of campus clubs invited whoever caught the pig to join their teams. The Aurora gang asked Sullivan to be part of their club, but that didn't sit too well with Mike. He was feeling pretty jealous about not getting an invite, so he made a vow to become the scariest scarer around. When morning rolled in, both Mike and Sullivan headed to their scare class. Mike was dead serious about becoming the scariest in the scare game. He was determined to prove to the ROR team that he was the scariest of them all. Mike was a real bookworm, always learning, and he started showing off his progress. Sullivan, on the other hand, was starting to dislike Mike and wanted to teach him a lesson. But Sullivan's popularity had taken a nosedive, and he was close to getting kicked out of the ROR club. The big day for the test arrived, and all the monsters were practicing their scare skills. Sullivan, who didn't really like Mike, challenged into a scare-off. Things got intense when Sullivan, shocked by Mike's scream, accidentally broke the Dean's scream tube. Everyone in the room got pretty scared. The Dean, who knew the tube was toast, decided to test Mike and Sullivan instead. Mike showed off his skills, but the Dean cut it short. Sullivan also had his turn, but his arrogant attitude got him kicked out by the Dean. Sullivan's friends turned their backs on him, and it wasn't just him. Mike got the boot from the department, too. Instead, they both ended up in a boring tube-making class. When they got back home, Mike felt pretty down and mad about the whole situation. Then he spotted a poster for a scare competition and decided he was going to enter. At the competition spot, students were all gathered up. Mike, from a distance, was planning to sign up representing his club, Uzma Kappa. The dean had some doubts about Mike. They made a bet. If Mike won, he could get back into the scaring department, but if he lost, he'd be kicked out of Monster University. However, the Uzma Kappa team was short one member, so Sullivan decided to join Mike's team. Later that evening, Mike and Sullivan went into the Uzma Kappa house. They had to adjust to their new surroundings and met some new friends at Uzma Kappa. Their new pals were really happy to have them around, and eventually they all ended up sharing a room. But they had a little argument, and then the lights suddenly went out on their own. So they went looking for their friends and ended up in the basement, where it turned out there was an inspection going on. But before the inspection could finish, Squishy's mother showed up and caused a big disruption to all their planned activities. Not long after, Mike and Sullivan were accepted into Uzma Kappa. The next day, they woke up and they were arguing again. Uzma Kappa got an invitation to a scary competition, but it came with some instructions, and they decided to follow them. They all headed to the competition location, where many campus clubs had gathered. The first challenge was the poison race, where they had to run through a tunnel filled with poison balls. 
Squishy wasn't too sure about it, but Sullivan and Mike reassured him. When the race started, instead of working together, Mike and Sullivan ended up competing against each other and didn't really care about their friends. As a result, their friends got left behind and Mike and Sullivan were removed from the competition. But there was a scandal with another team using drugs, so Uzma Kappa got a second chance. After that, Mike and Sullivan talked to their teammates and learned about their skills. Mike started training his friends to be scarier. But Sullivan had some doubts about his team. He thought about quitting, but Mike just couldn't stop, so he continued training with his friends. The second round of the competition began. They were in a library trying to grab a flag from the top of a statue. They had to be sneaky because if the librarian heard them, she would chase them away. Luz Kappa tried to sneak up, but Sullivan got impatient and ran for the flag. He climbed up but ended up making a loud noise. The guards started chasing Sullivan, but the rest of Uzma Kappa quickly diverted his attention. They managed to grab the flag while being chased and moved on to the next round. When they got back to their Uzma Kappa house, they got invitations from some girls for a party. Mike accepted the invite and joined the party at Aurora's place. People there welcomed him and everyone was having a good time, dancing and celebrating. Mike, though, wasn't really into the dancing scene. He went into Aurora's secret room and saw their trophies and paintings, when they returned to the party, Arvor didn't welcome them as warmly as Uzma Kappa had been welcomed. In fact, they publicly humiliated Uzma Kappa, and the whole campus found out about it. Angry Mike confronted the chairman of Arvor, and this embarrassment led to a fight with Uzma Kappa splitting their team. But Mike had an idea. Instead of going on a regular vacation, he took Uzma Kappa to Monsters Incorporated to see how they scare humans in a special event. Uzma Kappa felt a bit inspired after seeing the procession, but their motivation was short-lived because security guards suddenly caught them. They were chased by the guards and had to jump into a car. When they got back to the Uzma Kappa house, Squishy's mother quickly made uniforms for them with the Oak logo. They looked really cool in those uniforms and continued practicing for the next competition. The invitation for the match arrived and the much-awaited match day finally came. The well-trained Uzma Kappa easily overcame the challenges and made it to the finals. They spent their days practicing and with Mike's help, the Uzma Kappa team, which was once considered nothing, started showing progress. The third day of the competition arrived. Uzma Kappa won the previous round quite comfortably, so now only Uzma Kappa and Aruar were left in the competition. Then, following that match, an announcement was made that the final match was on the horizon. The leader of the Aruar team made some threats towards Uzma Kappa. Sullivan noticed the Dean and approached her, asking her not to get hurt. The Dean, in turn, challenged Sullivan and his team to prove their scariness. Mike and Sullivan gathered in a room sharing scary stories and practicing their scares. Sullivan, thinking that Mike needed to be scarier, helped him improve. Mike trained hard and gave it his all. The next day, the final match took place at the campus stadium. Every seat was filled with supporters from each team. This match was all about scaring. Uzma Kappa chose Don as their first player. Don acted quickly, and with his rigorous training, he managed to collect more screams than the ROR team. Next up were Terry and Terry Perry, followed by Squishy. The competition remained intense, with the shout tubes results seesawing between Uzma Kappa and Aurora. It was Sullivan's turn to step up as the player. With all this training and practice, Sullivan managed to unleash a powerful shout that disrupted Randy Boggs. Then, it was Mike's turn to take the stage. Sullivan shared messages and advice with Mike on how to deal with Johnny and Aurora. Mike took action, giving his all in the competition. Johnny, who had already finished scaring, had the highest records. However, with tremendous effort, Mike eventually surpassed Johnny's score, leading Uzma Kappa to victory and earning himself an award. Mike was overwhelmed by his success, but he soon sensed that something was amiss. He discovered that Sullivan had arranged the competition equipment, which angered him. Mike couldn't accept the reality and his friends were also disappointed. Both monsters felt confused and in denial. Mike, in the scary door room, stole an employee's ID and entered the laboratory. Meanwhile, Sullivan confessed the truth to the dean. Suddenly, the campus buzzed with activity as someone used the door anywhere in the laboratory. That someone was Mike. He entered the door and attempted to scare a young child in a bedroom. However, instead of frightening the child, the child frightened Mike because it turned out that Mike was in the wrong room. Sullivan, who knew Mike well, decided to enter the door and reach the laboratory. Mike was determined to go in, and his friends helped by creating distractions, allowing Sullivan to get inside. Meanwhile, Sullivan entered the dormitory, also in search of Mike. Outside, he noticed that the police had gathered. Scanning the area, he spotted Mike alone by the lake. An argument erupted between them as they expressed their frustrations and accepted their failures. Their conversation was cut short when the police began searching for them. Mike and Sullivan separated briefly but eventually regrouped, attempting to re-enter the world of monsters. 
To their surprise, when they opened the door instead of the monster world, they found an empty space. Mike then came up with an idea. He collaborated with Sullivan to scare the pursuing police. Together, they tried to create fear to terrify the police. At the perfect moment, Sullivan and Mike successfully scared the police, causing the laboratory tubes to fill to the brim and vibrate. Seizing the opportunity, Mike and Sullivan entered the door. They had safely returned to the laboratory and escaped the impending explosion. They were both apprehended by the authorities and expelled from Monster University. Sullivan and Mike bid farewell to Uzma Kappa. Mike's friends and Uzma Kappa shared some good news about their progress. After that, Mike and Sullivan went their separate ways, leaving Monster University behind. Mike went to say his goodbyes to Sullivan, but Sullivan, not wanting to be left behind, chased after Mike. Mike stopped and had a conversation with Sullivan, but then the Dean arrived and informed them that they had made headlines. The Dean, feeling disheartened, could finally wish them the best. Despite not graduating from college, the two ended up working as mail carriers at Monster Incorporated due to their enthusiasm and hard work, they steadily climbed the ranks until they became the greatest scarers. The moral lesson from this story is that success doesn't always follow traditional paths or formal education. Mike and Sullivan, despite not completing their education at Monster University, achieved greatness through determination, hard work, and a willingness to seize unexpected opportunities.